thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Under under one thousand dollars. Under a thousand dollars to add it to a car. Yep. Really? That's our price point. And you're you're going to just bring it in and. Can it be installed by, can you bring your car in and have it installed by a regular no. person or does it have to be installed by? No, 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 you, you can install it yourself. You can install it yourself. There you go. Just put the camera on the dash. Um, there, there's guidelines. It's not as easy as setting up a selfie stick. It's more similar to setting up a piece of Ikea furniture. Okay, so there's gonna be a little bit of work. You gotta do the diagnostic, do you have to do some calibration, I guess? Um, less so than you'd think. Got you, it. you have to follow some guidelines. Um, but if you follow the guidelines, the calibration procedure is automatic. Um, will this technology work when you can't see the lanes? And what role do yeah. these lane markers, you know, play in this? Because it does seem to me, you know, when it snows, maybe it's harder to see the lanes, inclement weather, fog, whatever. Yeah. Um, and a lot of roads, they don't seem to maintain them well. Oh, especially in California. Right. I mean, we have a real problem here. Yeah. So... How much of staying in the lane is determined by the, the markers there? Not much. Not much? Um, so we have, the way our system works is it learns to drive by watching people drive. Um, and people intuitively know where to drive in a roadway. So if there are any intuitive clues, our car will pick up on them. Mm. If a person can drive it without lanes, our car can usually do something very similar without lanes. Um, so no, it does not need actual lane markings. So when you're driving, what about in the city? When you're driving through a city, this seems particularly challenging. Uh, we're, we're not up to, to city yet. Yeah, um, city, nobody is. Yeah. Nobody is, no, nobody. Um, Google has light city, but if you notice Google is driving in Mountain View, not San Francisco. Mountain right. View is significantly easier than San Francisco. What is the challenge with doing this in a city? And how much of this is based upon um, having done it over and over again and using GPS. Does GPS play any role in this or is it not accurate enough to play a role in it? Um, so localization plays can play a role. Um, our system right now is it's very much uh, like a human. A human does not use localization. Right. A human does not drive a certain road a certain way because they've driven, I mean, maybe over a long period of time you develop like muscle memory if you've driven the exact same yeah. commute every day. But um, no, humans use very little localization and a lot of, of camera. I'm mm. in mean, a lot of online feedback, right? My car's pulling a little bit to the right. Oh, I should be holding the steering wheel a little bit more to the left, right? It's that kind of stuff that our system's capable of doing that no other system uh, shipping today can, including Google's. Let me tell you about one of my favorite services in the world. It's called Squarespace. 10 years ago, five years ago, I used to have to go hire a consultant to build a website and it took months and it cost thousands and thousands of dollars. And then when I needed a new feature or I opened it up on my iPhone, it looked terrible. And my whole life revolved around trying to make a beautiful website and had to spend literally thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars doing that. And then I found out about Squarespace. And if you want to create a beautiful website, landing page, website, or online store. You can do it on Squarespace for literally just dollars a month. I can't believe how affordable it is. And it's state-of-the-art tech, secure, stable, trusted by millions of people. Some of the most respected brands in the world use it, and I use it for every site. Why? It's beautiful, responsive, and they keep adding features. This is one of the great things about the software as a service movement that you've heard me talk about on our show. They are sitting there with you know, all of these customers, Squarespace, and then they say, oh, customers, what else do you want? And because they have so many customers, they can build feature after feature, but not raise the price. So it, it's like you're buying the service. It's like if you bought a car and they just kept adding features to it. Every day you got in your car, there was a new feature. That's what it feels like using Squarespace to me. You can go start a free trial right now. No credit card is required. You can get a free domain if you, start up, if you sign up for a year. So that's a great deal. And when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, use the offer code TWIST, T-W-I-S-T, and you get 10% off your first purchase. I know that many of you don't need to get 10% off your first purchase. You're rich, you're baller, you're expensing this. But please, use the promo code TWIST so they know that you're a, a super fan of the show. And go ahead, if you really are a super fan of the show, thank at Squarespace on Twitter for making independent media 
like This Week in Startups possible. It's just a great product. It's a great service. And all of my team knows how to use it. And we can pop up websites all the time for the Launch Incubator, for the Launch Festival, for the Scale Conference. Everything we do, I just pop up a new website, pop up a new website, and it looks beautiful. And then I said to my team, hey, can we put a video? I saw somebody put a video in the background of their website. And I thought, that's incredible. You go to a website and it's playing a video in the background? Gorgeous. I want that. And they're like, oh, Squarespace does that. I'm like, why didn't you tell me? They're like, well, we didn't know because I keep adding so many damn features to this product. I said, great. Put on the Launch Angel Summit a picture of Napa. So they bought some stock footage for 50 bucks, and the website looks dynamite. For $50 in stock photos or stock video, we put this gorgeous video up. Amazing. And it keeps happening to me. I just love Squarespace. Thank you so much for sponsoring This Week in Startups. I really appreciate it. It means a lot that you guys and gals have been building this great product for so many years and supporting my podcast for so many years. Thank you, Squarespace. Okay, let's get back to this amazing program. 